Hey folks, welcome to Plumber with Tim. Today we're going to be on location at a house that has been sold that has a couple problems and we're going to show you how to fix one of them. So hang out, we'll be there in just a minute. Today we're in an upscale neighborhood and a house that's under contract that has been bought. But the new homeowner uh, noticed that there was a leak underneath the Roman tub and he wanted to get that fixed before he uh, signed on the dotted line. So I'm going to go in here and we're going to take a look and I'll show you what we got to do to fix it. Alright, so we went ahead and we turned the water off to the house and we're going to let all the water pressure down. I was up underneath there and looking. I noticed that it looked like it was leaking out of the hot side. All right, so we're gonna take this handle off and be careful because it looks like there's a lot of corrosion up there where that Allen uh, screw is. Uh, so we're gonna see if this Allen wrench will back that up. A lot of times you have to spray lube. It feels like it's turning. Let's take a look. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we got it. Oh, we lucked out. Thank goodness. All right, let's see if that handle will come off. Ah, look. There's water coming up out of that stem. That's why it's been pouring water down underneath there. So we got to get this nut off here and extract this cartridge and put a new one in. Oh, today's my lucky day. There we go. Nice and easy with them. All this corrode stuff. Now, before I pull this out, I want to put the towel on here because there's going to be some water retained in there. All right, nice and easy. I'm taking grab onto this now. If you get a look at this, see this has got like a half a moon on this cartridge. So when we pull this out, put the new one in, we want the half moon to be on that side. Let's give it a shot. Nice and easy. Oh, here it is. There comes the water. Get it cleaned up. So I always want to have a towel because there's going to be water retained in there. Nice. Let's have a look at the old cartridge. I got the new neoprene seat and spring. I have a little kit I always carry just for Delta. I'm going to put it back down in that hole. So let's give it a shot. There we go. It kind of flipped over. You're going to have to be careful and seat that the proper way. But that's got to get in there. That's the difference between this thing leaking and not leaking, uh, dripping. The real leak came from the bad inside seal on this cartridge. As you can see down inside of there, I'm going to try to zoom in. You can see that little seat and spring in there. They're kind of tricky sometimes, so just have patience and put them in. Anytime you're working on Delta products that have those in there and you're gonna access them, go ahead and replace them, whether they're good or bad. It's just a good thing to do. And not a bad idea to have an accessory kit, Delta. Which, remember the half moon we were talking about at the beginning? That's gonna be on the left side. So let's go ahead and you can see on these cartridges, they've got little, let me sit. We're losing stuff here. There's little grooves. See the little grooves in here? They're gonna match the little grooves in the valve body. Let's go ahead and slide that in there. Nice and easy, match the grooves. See that groove right there? Match the grooves. And just simply take a nice and easy, pop it back into place like that. Take your retention nut, nice and easy, don't cross thread it. Hand tighten it, and then get yourself an open end wrench. And don't over tighten it. Just tighten it until you just like that. You don't want to break nothing. Temporarily make sure that it's in the off position. And we're going to 
gonna take it back off and I'm gonna send my helper outside to go ahead and turn the water back on and we're gonna check and test to make sure none of this stuff's leaking and we're even gonna look underneath there and make sure there's water dropping down. Like I said, not to repeat myself, but it's very important if you in fact do get involved with a Delta Roman tub valve, if it has the metal handles on it, you wanna make sure that you get the cartridges that have the brass stems or else if you get the wrong ones and they have the plastic ones, it'll end up breaking. The plastic cartridges are made for the acrylic handles. The brass stemmed ones are made for the metal handles. Looks like the water's back on. All right, well, before we decide to go ahead and put the handle on here and all that, we're gonna take a pair of channel locks really smoothly and just go ahead and crack this thing open. No water coming out of this pen. Go ahead and close that. Just like that. Now we're gonna put the handle back on. Okay, so we can't visually see any water leaking any longer. But we're gonna do one more test. I'm gonna get my head up underneath that panel that's back there that I showed you earlier. And we're gonna have my partner run the water on hot and cold. And I'm gonna look as closely as I can to make sure there's no water dripping underneath. Down here, let me get a drop light ready. Okay, hold on. Let's take a look back in here where I showed you those pipes back there. All right, go ahead and turn on the, the hot side. Cold side. Look good. Well, yet yeah, another success story, and we were able to fix those leaks. Um, if it would have been something involved in the valve underneath, unfortunately, we would have probably ended up having to cut tile and there'd been all that work and delay with the new homeowner. We saved them probably at least a thousand bucks. You need to get into one of these Roman tub valves that are Delta. Your replacement part is a Delta. I don't know if you can read that or not. Kind of backwards. I'll put it up on the screen. It is the Delta RP24096. That's what you're looking for. And you're looking for genuine parts. Don't settle for some kind of garbage uh, aftermarket stuff, the genuine parts. That's all the time I got for today. I hope this helped you out one way or another, uh, whether you're a handyman, a plumber, a homeowner, or whatever. Always make sure to follow safety and details Make sure you have a good source of shutting the water off and draining all the water down before you get involved with this. Have towels and the proper tools. If you're not sure what you're doing, stop what you're doing and call a licensed plumber. Until next time, this has been Plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.